Welcome back. In this step, we're going to take a look at a different way of lighting our environment, which is to use what's called a sky dome light, which uses image-based lighting. So we take an image, and Maya and Arnold take parts of that image, generally the bright parts, and cast light into the scene using that. It's a really good way of creating naturalistic looking scenes, or if you want really cool looking reflections in things like uh, metallic paint or something like that. Okay, so let's give this a go. I'm just going to turn that off. And then I want to find and delete my directional light because this new light is pretty much going to do the job that the directional is currently doing. So that's gone. And then we're going to go into Arnold, find lights and create a sky dome light. There it is. And by default, it's just kind of lighting everything with this white color, which is fine and sometimes is useful, but it's not the effect that I'm wanting. We're going to load in a HDRI image so that it lights things a little bit more naturally. In order to do that, we're going to click on the little checker pattern next to the color for the light. We're going to choose a file and then we're going to click on the file. And in our source images folder, again, if you're using my assets you should have copied this and put it into your own source images folder at some point otherwise feel free to find your own hdri image so it's hdri underscore forest you can see there's a preview of it it actually looks better in the scene than it does there so we'll click on open and just so we can see it a little better let's zoom out a little bit and we'll just rotate around you can see it's just a nice little wooded area it's beautiful and this is now adding lots of light to our scene what i want to do there you can see there's the sun there I want to rotate that around so that it's located where the window is. So I'm going to select my sky dome light, turn on my rotate tool, and then I just want to get in nice and close here. And I'm just going to press A in one of these views and rotate it around. And you can see that the scene's updating to reflect that I'm doing this until the sunlight's sort of over there somewhere. And hopefully it will cascade through this window. Now that we've done that, we're going to need to start thinking about previewing it. So I've still got my Arnold renderer being previewed up here. So I'll just press play to let that start going. And as this render is coming through, you can see that it's giving a much more natural look to the scene of light cascading through the window, falling across the scroll. It's pretty nice, actually. I'm quite happy with it. If, however, you decide that you're not a fan of certain parts, then that's where you can make changes. So perhaps you think it's a little bit too bright, so you might knock the intensity down a little bit. So let's try something like 0.6. That does seem to be a little bit nicer. And if you wanted to try to get a cleaner set of shadows, you could also try upping the samples. As this is mostly for preview purposes, I'm not going to do that. I think what I'll do at this stage is just find an angle that I like, let it render out, and then we will move on to the next step. So let's just stop this rendering for a sec, find a nice angle. That's kind of nice. And we'll just give that a minute to render. That's the rendering done then for this particular version of my lighting. I think it's come out pretty nicely and it's something that for a different type of project, I would maybe try. If you wanted to get the lighting to look even more believable, you could create some other walls. So let's just turn that off a second. You could put some walls here and walls here and also put a cube on top to stop the light getting in because it's currently coming in from every angle. Even if it's darker somewhere else, there is still light coming from that. So if you really want to experiment with this a little bit and control it so it's only coming in through the window, then you can do that. Or leave some little gaps in other places to represent like other windows or doors. That's going to do it for this step then. In the next step, which is going to be the last one where we use a type of light, we're going to use what's called an area light. And I'm going to use that to cascade in what will look a bit more like moonlight and try and get some volumetric shadows going on through the window. So I will see you in the next step. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.